Did the lumberjack do it, or is this a witch hunt? Medium Latte Extra Hot, episode 53. So, we're going to dive into this story. There have been some new updates. A man uh, has had his house searched. He is a lumberjack. He has... <coughs> excuse me. He has been uh, evicted very recently from his house. He has motive, but... Is this a witch hunt? We're going to dive into this story. We're going to look at some of the news reports and we're going to try and make some sense of all this. OK, the Mirror reports. This is the lumberjack. He has been interviewed or he has been spoken to. I'm not sure he's had a full interview. So this is Walter Renwick and he denies the claims he failed the iconic Sycamore Gap tree. Lumberjack accused of chopping down Sycamore Gap tree gives four word statement. OK, so it's not an interview, it's a four word statement. Former Lumberjack Walter Renwick says he understands why people think it is him, but insists he did not chop down the iconic 300 year old tree. A lumberjack accused of chopping down one of the world's most photographed trees has furiously denied claims. Walter Renwick insists that he has been wrongly named on social media as the culprit of the mindless vandalism after the Sycamore Gap tree was felled on Wednesday. Brits have been left disgusted over the act as tourists came from all over to take pictures of the 300-year-old landmark. While residents have taken matters into their own hands as they tried to find out who did it, Police say they have arrested a man in his 60s in connection with the incident. Walter's brother rushed over to his house to find out whether the rumours are true and Walter admits he understood why his name, why he was named as a suspect. OK, there's another picture and uh, it looks like some uh, official people standing around the stump discussing it. <laughs> The 69-year-old has spent his entire life felling trees. So look, so you've immediately got, um, he fits the profile, put it that way, immediately. So he, he spent his career felling trees. So he knows how to chop a tree down. So the Sun reports, and despite his motive, the fact that he was evicted last week from his home, he grew up in, he spent his whole life in this home, he's been evicted. Uh, near the crime scene, He's, so I looked it up online, the, he lives in a farm, and the farm is 18 minutes away from the trees, very close, if you look at it from the, the actual, on Google Maps, he vehemently denies being connected to felling of the 70 foot Robin Hood tree, adding, I didn't do it, Walter said, I am a former lumberjack, and I have just been kicked off my property, so I can see why people have pointed the finger, my brother came down to make sure I hadn't been arrested as he had heard the rumours. It's very sad. It's an iconic tree. He admits that the real criminal chose the perfect night to take down the tree due to the fact there was a full moon to help illuminate the area. Walter also explained that as it is windy, it's also meant there was barely any sound, he added. Trees have their own DNA and you can use the dust to track down which tree was felled. So it would... It would be easy to find out who did it. So he mounts, if there's any dust on or in a chainsaw that may be found or on some clothes, potentially they can take that dust, that sawdust, and track it back to the, um, the tree. A 16-year-old boy was also arrested in the desperate search for the uh, perpetrator, but he was later released on bail, and investigators revealed that the white paint was used to mark the trunk while a directional cut was made to make sure the iconic tree located along Hadrian's Wall between Newcastle and Carlisle, it fell a certain way. It comes after fears that the tree may have been chopped down as part of an online stunt. Officers are looking into poss the possibility that the culprit behind the Sycamore Gap tree felling used a chainsaw and was doing it for the content on the popular app. So they're saying someone could have done it as a TikTok thing. How insane is that? That would be even worse. That's just stupidity. Forensic office, officers were key were seen taking photographs and samples of the tree once perched in a natural dip along Hadrian's Wall as p police began to prove a launch to gain a full picture of what happened overnight between Wednesday and Thursday. Kim McGuinness, Northumbria's Police and Crime Commissioner, said. That tree was ours. It was an iconic northeast landmark standing tall in our beautiful Northumberland. Officers will do their utmost to catch whoever is behind this. So that's pretty much everything there. Let's pause that. 
Okay, what do you guys think? This is insane. So did this guy do it? He's got motive. He's been kicked out of his house. It's also been reported. I have done a little bit of digging. He run a um, campsite and it was a legal campsite. It got complained about, uh, but they couldn't do anything because he had been running it for over 10 years. So um, there are little little bits like that, that if you want, if you had a moat, well, this could be a motive to do something like that. But there's also reports that the part, the guy, the lumberjack, isn't very well. He's got a leaky valve, so he would need help. Maybe he needed the help of a 16-year-old. Who knows? I believe in innocent until proven guilty. So let's see what the police come up with. Let's see what they investigate. Let's not jump to conclusions. Although there's a lot of things adding up for this guy. Who else out there might be with a similar kind of story? Who's got a grievance? Who is a lumberjack? Do you know what I mean? Uh, write in your comments below what do you think did this guy do it did he not do it is he innocent um should he have been named i i've obviously named him today but uh his name is out there he's been spoken to people are defending him um i think there's a lot more of this story to come out so i'm gonna maybe cover it until it gets to its uh comes to its final kind of conclusion um i'm off to work now have a great day. Appreciate nature. Like, subscribe, smash the notification bell if you want to hear updates on this story. Take care, people.